Hey everybody, how's it going? Daryl here. So today we're gonna go help Derek and Megan celebrate their wedding in gorgeous Moab, Utah. Today I'm not springing the trailer, I'm just packing everything in the car as you can see everything's packed pretty tight. But yeah, it's four and a half hours away, so let's not waste any more time. Come on, let's go. Megan and Derek's guest list is small and the crowd is a little bit older. The couple specifically request that to not have a club vibe. So I'll mostly be rocking oldies and classics tonight and laying off the strobes for the lighting. All right, just made a quick pit stop, you know. It's a long journey and about halfway through and about halfway more to go, so let's keep on going. The local populace of Moab is quite small, so it is quite common for vendors from nearby towns and cities to come over here for destination weddings. All right, we've made it to Moab, but our journey is not yet complete. We're going to LaSalle Mountains National Park. It is a different vibe than the Red Rocks of Arches National Park, but it is still gorgeous nonetheless. And that is where our wedding venue is, Whispering Oaks Ranch, and here we go. All right, we made it. And tonight's couple aren't Utah locals, but they fell in love while visiting here and they want to share the beautiful, gorgeous landscape with their closest friends and family. And I'm packing light, so I'm leaving the totems at home and I'm using these much more portable gravity stands. All right, so a bunch of you have been asking, like, how do I mount these movers on top of these totem poles? The secret sauce is you have your brackets right here, right? So I have this piece of hardware, which is an M10 knob. Gravity stands come built in with an end head female screw right here. So I just simply screw it in like this And just like that I have my mover on the gravity stand the gravity stand can hold up to 44 pounds And this is like 18 pounds. So we're good. So I asked sheds to review these 160 watt LED hybrid movers So I'm excited to try them out tonight. I was wondering if I could stick a light up there. Let's try so these both IR4 pars, they come with magnets and the magnets are super strong. So I was able to mount four of these around the dance floor and I'm really excited to see how they'll work. course tonight I am using sound switch sound switch just gives me the flexibility of automation while being able to manually control it sometimes when I feel like it all right I'm all set up for the reception so now let's go to the ceremony <laughs> Too well the ceremony went pretty well in my opinion it was very windy but the microphones seemed to do decently I mean I think it could have been better could have had a better wind filter but the one I did have seemed to serve adequately well and it was a small intimate ceremony I think everyone could hear it so no major glitches that's probably one of the scariest parts for me as a wedding DJ is doing like the wedding ceremony so now it's time to take a breather, play some background music for the cocktail hour. It's going to be a great rest of the night.
hanging those pars from the ceiling. Lighting from multiple angles isn't always practical at different events, but when you can, it is an incredible effect. Megan, if you're watching this, I totally forgot to hit record on your video review, but thank you for your kind words. So this was my first gig with these new movers from Sheds. I feel like it would be better to showcase these like at a different venue, just because of like how the ceiling is here. But they are extremely inexpensive, only like 350 bucks a piece, and they boast some impressive features. I was a little disappointed with the limitation of the 170 degree tilt angle. They really couldn't point down on top of the totem. Probably wouldn't be a problem if I was hanging them upside down on a truss or a T-bar, but I really couldn't shine them down on the formality dances. But they were pretty cool during the dancing because movers can like blind people and so shining them above people's heads is usually what I program anyways, which is accidentally ideal. I used haze tonight, which worked better than I thought it would with the wind. Woo, that was one crazy party. But we're all packed up and ready to go. So four and a half hours to home. So we're gonna go to our Airbnb with the garage so you can rest and make the journey home tomorrow. Let's go. So motels are significantly cheaper than an Airbnb, but you know, the Airbnb gives me peace of mind to have like an enclosed garage so I can just have my gear in here and I can just not worry about anything happening to it. So that's why I always tend to try to get an Airbnb when I'm traveling out of town. Sometimes it's not possible and I usually don't sleep super well on those nights. All right, well, I'm just here at my Airbnb. I'm all packed up and about ready to go. This Airbnb is awesome. It has like three bedrooms and like so many beds. In the past, I've stayed in this condo area and I brought my entire family. We made it like a little vacation, so that was cool. But today it's just me, so I'm eager to head home and yeah, I slept soundly knowing that all my gear and my equipment was sleeping safely inside a garage. Well, thank you so much for watching this gig log. Leave those comments down below and please smash like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.